Hi guys, welcome back to Daily Mix. Today's Pixie Moon Masterclass is all about contouring and highlighting. Nick's got the lovely Natalie here. What are you going to do, Nick? Um, I am going to show you how to contour a heart-shaped face to start off with. Can I have Ilamasca Polo yep. and a contour brush, please? Sure. Sister. There's your brush. Thank you very much. Product. Now you can see around the jawbone on a heart-shaped face, it already goes in slightly, so we don't need to contour and make that any sharper. Um, Natalie also has quite good cheekbones, although I'm going to enhance them a little bit. The place that we really want to bring in would be just around here as well, where the forehead's a tiny bit wider than the rest of the face. So I'm going to take a little bit of hollow. I'm going to run it a small amount around the cheekbone, under the cheekbone. And to feel where your cheekbone is, just take your brush, roll it up, and where you feel it stop naturally is where the cheekbone is. Another way, if you can't find it via that, you can look to where your, and the top of your ear is, follow it down, it will be where, to the um, corner of your lip as well. So a little bit through there, I'm going to take it in an almost V-shape, just up into the temples of the head as well. Natalie has a fringe, which is, she has the perfect face shape for a fringe, in fact, because she has that lovely kind of elfin pointy jaw there. Um, but she has a slightly wider forehead, a fringe works really well. Now I'm not going to add any highlighter because already Natalie's cheeks have got a natural sheen to them and they stand out enough already so you can go too much with it. So we'll leave it there and um, it just shows you quickly how to contour a heart shaped face. Next we've got Cathy, she's got an oval face. Okay, I'm going to keep to the same products if you don't mind. Yep. Now, the reason I'm using um, Hollow from Milamasca is it's really natural and I'm only trying to show you how to define the face a little bit more. Now, with an oval shape, I'm just going to say nobody really has these shaped faces. You know, it's all, you know, you may have bits of each. Like, it's like with clothes when they say you're this shape, you're that shape. Who is really? But you can, you can work out kind of where your shape is going from this. So, with an oval shape, we're going to go in the jawbone to sharpen that a tiny bit. If I do one side first, then hopefully you can see a difference. So this is really light and you use hardly any colour, basically. So I'm going to go in the jawbone, really blend that. Make sure you rub the brush over the jawbone as well so it blends both sides, underneath and on top. And then I'm going to take that just through the cheekbone. Now, Kathy doesn't have too much of a cheekbone there already, so we can bring that out a little bit more. But do bear in mind, if you don't have a cheekbone already, if you draw a line on as a stripe, it's going to stay looking like a line of a stripe. So you must look at your face in all different angles so you can see that there's not just a line left there. That's so. the great thing about using this particular product, because it is so light. Um, it's not a really, really dark product that you have to blend a lot, if you know what I mean. So if you're not great at blending, this is a brilliant product to use. Now, with Kathy, I can see we can go a little bit darker here. So I'm going to keep with the hollow just under the jawbone. But can I have um, something a tiny bit darker just for the cheek? So this one? Or maybe the Chanel one will be better because um, it's cream. OK. Creams are just a little bit easier to work with to show this. Thank you. So I'm going to take a little bit of Bronze Universal and just so it shows up a bit better. Run that through the cheekbone. Now this can be too orange on some people, so do test it before you buy it, that it doesn't come out too orangey on you. And then I'm going to go back with the hollow and just take that through the temples. Would you like a highlighter? I would love one. What do you, you want? You read my mind. Um, Lies? Yeah, I think so. Now, Oops. you can see with Kathy, because she doesn't have too much of a cheekbone, I'm going to use a highlighter as well. I've got Illamasqua Lies. And I'm just going to run that through the top of the cheekbone so it's going to give me a little bit more shape. So I always think this, of this in the same as how a woman likes to be that hourglass figure. We want our face to be like that as well. So we want it to go in here and then go in and then go in. So we want to push this bit out. So any places you want to pull out, pop a little bit of highlighter. This is a super shiny highlighter. So if you've got oily skin, don't go for it. You can use powders for all of these things. It's the, 
product is still placed in the same place as I've done it, but you just use powders. Then what I would do at the end is just powder these areas just to make sure that the rest is got a nice glow to it, but the middle panel is nice and powdered. Next we've got Ave with a round shaped face. Can I have a matte um, contour please? Please contour. And what have you got for me? Oh, Which I just dropped on the floor but it has survived. It's, it's survived bit. Okay, now with a round face, it's quite similar to an oval face to be honest. We just want to accentuate the jawbone, the cheeks and bring in a tiny bit there. You know, it, a lot of them are kind of similar. Okay, so I'm going to start with the jawbone. Now this is what Kim Kardashian loves, a bit of highlight and contour. It's probably the only thing that me and Kim have in common, that we like that. Right, so a little bit through the jawbone, a little bit through the cheekbone. So just again make sure that you're lining it up before you apply and you're going to work on the lower half of it because you want to add a little bit of depth in there. Now if you've got a round shaped face, contour looks amazing but again you must make sure that it's blended because it will really stand out. Do you ever contour your face? Is it because you don't like contour or because you find that it's harder to blend or? Um, I'm just not confident doing it. Okay. And I think you'll find that quite a lot, so hopefully this will help guide you on where to put it. Can I have a highlighter yeah, piece? Yeah, I got you this one. Makeup Forever Compact Shine On, number four. Lovely, thank you very much. So I'm going to take that through the top of the cheekbones. Very lightly, I don't want too much shine. You can take that also through the brow bone. Don't forget to take it on top of the brow bone as well, so either side of the brow. And there we have it done. Here we go with Elizabeth, she's got a long face. Okay, can I have, it's going to be, have to be hollow again because, yeah. holla, because um, it's a nice light colour. Yeah. Thank you Elizabeth's very quite much. fair as well. Yeah, she is. Now, this is one that's a little bit more different. Um, if you have a long shaped face, then you want to make the shadowing under the chin, so it makes it a little bit shorter, and on top of the forehead, we can take it right the way around there. So it's actually giving a shadow to make the face look slightly less long, shorter. So a little bit. Now, don't go overzealous with this. It's really light again. So you can put it through the cheekbone, but you would be more inclined to do it under the front part of the cheekbone because you don't want to narrow this part here. So you don't want to take it so all it the way around. Here. Now, it looks like I'm hardly putting any product on, but that's what you want. You know, you don't want to overdo it. It's meant to be very minimal. And that's how you get the best contouring. Would you like a highlight, Nick? Uh, I don't think I need one no. for this because otherwise it's just going to highlight the areas that we don't want to. You, I wouldn't put a highlighter here, so we're just going to take that. And that's basically it for a long shaped face. Okay, next we've got Hayley with a square shaped face, which is actually quite similar to me. Yes. Um, I've picked this for you. Yeah, no, that's right? what I want. <laughs> Perfect. Sisters. Great minds. Soleil de Tan. Right. With a... I actually love a square shaped face, so I wouldn't want to change it too much, but if you do, if yours is super strong on the jawbone, you can take your shade just down the back of the jaw. A little bit onto the jaw as well, because you want to make that disappear a little bit as such. So, a little bit through here. Soften it, that's the word I was looking for. And through the temples. 
And then if you want, you can add a bit to the cheekbone, but you don't need much. So it's a similar kind of shape, but we're keeping more to the back of the face. And can I have highlighted, please, yep. Sam? What we got for me? Pearl. Ah, pearl Can you use your finger on that? Or? Yeah, let's use finger. Okay, I'm going to take a little bit with my ring finger and just tap it. I'm going to take this just through the top of the brow bone. And just through the top of the cheekbone. And that's about it. I don't want to take it anywhere else. Now, everyone's face is slightly different, so do adjust it for your shaped face. And there you have the finished square face. So that's a little sum up into contouring and highlighting. I don't think it's for everyone. And I certainly wouldn't say that you should go out and necessarily do it unless that's something that is to your taste, to be honest. Um, if you've got a long face or a round face or an oval face, whatever, embrace that. And if you, if you want to try this, then go ahead. Um, but if you don't, you're just as good not. And hopefully that's been a guide to help you if you do want to. Um, Thank you so much for watching, guys. Thanks for the models for coming in and being our models today. Um, if you have any masterclasses that you would like us to do or touch on, then leave a comment in the comments box. And thanks for watching and like and subscribe. And that's it. Have bye a bye. good day. Bye. And what we're going to do with this is we're going to load our bronzer up on the tip of the brush. This one is a Real Techniques blush brush. And we're going to work this on the high points of the face, not where people generally use it. Often you find people use this in the contour. We don't want to use it as a contour, we want to use it as a bronzer.